On a personal level, I was really glad uh, to see this, the, light, the light that she was shining on my home and uh, people who need it. The thing that I that really spoke to me the most was Tanya Talaga's book Seven Fallen Feathers. You know, she she's a really incredible writer. It's a, it's a it's a really gripping book about the epidemic of teens in Thunder Bay who uh, end up dead. I couldn't believe that this wasn't a larger story. That this wasn't grabbing national news headlines all across the country. And it stood out to me because it was, it was stuff that I didn't know about combined with this place that I know so well. I grew up there and I've lived in Toronto now more than half my life, but um, it, it's even the area, it, uh, the areas that she's writing about are you know, often like streets that I know. It is a city that was home to one of 17 Indian residential schools in the province of Ontario, St. Joseph's, and a place where Indigenous children have come from the north in pursuit of high school educations because they have no access to high schools in their remote First Nations communities. And this is a place where they have died in the waters surrounding the city. It, it just opens your eyes to the, the part of the story that is about how the way Canada is now depends on these people having been totally disenfranchised, treaties ignored, people lied to, violence done, and, and it ends up that these kids were, you know, taking the brunt of all these huge forces. Just being there with one word put in front of the other in an incredibly real and incredibly vivid kind of way that was almost hard for me to, to, to read, but you know, really necessary. That's the beginning of, of binding people together. And so I would, I would recommend everybody to read Seven Fallen Feathers. Tanya Talaga is a, she's, she's an incredibly talented writer. She's a really passionate person and she's, she's got something here that I think would be valuable for everybody in Canada. It's, it's a great book, go read it.